My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories tremble. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... That beat up old fence by the side of the road. There's a fence? <gasps> Has young Miss Walker been stumped at last? Will a simple fence be the end of her glorious winning streak? Wait, it's brown, but the paint was white. Hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Okay, let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay, shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. Is it five? Nope, it's six. I win! I win! Oh, did I doze off? Mommy, I won! You did? Great job, love bug. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMQ, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. Or maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound of it. Pieces of notes fall down, but the head is set. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> She fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. 
Nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. <sighs> Hey, it's gonna be awesome. I'll learn the banjo, get myself a ticket to Country Palooza. <laughs> ha ha, you're very funny. St. Louis is as urban as it gets, and you know that. And actually, the whole city's turning around these days. I'm kidding, I know, it'll be fine. You've got your tenure, I've got... my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. I know, it's just... It's hard. I and mean, once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. I know. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Zoe appreciates me, even if no one else does. Oh, look at her little face. She wouldn't dream of making an old man feel he wasn't. <laughs> You okay, Pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. <sighs> Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you can learn how to drive, asshole. Are you kidding me? Country kids, or oh, a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal.
You haven't told me whose house this is. It doesn't matter who. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. <laughs> and you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? No. Nope. But someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! The code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. the big bad wolf not funny what happened he's got a doberman i had to lock it in the shed what's that <laughs> idiot whose house is this dante romero King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Dale. He's the top cop in the whole county. You want to know how much respect I got for that? There isn't a day I don't think about getting back at that motherfucker. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is Two Rock, not NYPD Blue. Now get looking for that safe. Did Tyler say where they went? Uh, she's got health problems. Some kind of doctor's appointment or... Uh, I don't know. Good place to hide a safe. Or not. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up. I'm working on it. Hey, when life gives you lemons, <laughs> come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. OK.
wife. Twelve years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hey, sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanics away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is, oh, hey, welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norma to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, uh, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. <laughs> All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Oh. You okay? Ah, uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. <laughs> sure, I'll come. <sighs> we won't be long. Come on, Zeus. Here, boy. Yeah. 
Didn't mean to cause a fuss in the car earlier. Can't be easy having me yanking your chain like that when you two are so on edge. Are you about to give me marriage advice? Because if I recall, you walked out on yours. No, no. I just wanted to say thank you for these last few months. Getting to know you again, getting to know Zoe, it's been a blessing. I'm glad she got to meet you. Know the worst part about living with, well, with having this tumor in my head? The question mark of it all? How long do I have? Am I making the right choices? <laughs> you make a good shrink, you know that? Yeah, <laughs> more like a neurotic patient. Well, you're not wrong. I do ask myself all those things, but they're not... What I meant is the guilt. The never-ending guilt. I disappeared for 30 years. I can only imagine how that must have been for you and your mother. Oh, so I could get high and flip off the world. Well, you came and knocked on my door in the end. Hmm. That couldn't have been easy. I appreciate that. And no, it wasn't. I'm sorry, son. I am. And I know I've done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course. Well, I know you said you could drop me in Tulsa, that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. How would you feel about me living in a new house with you and Zoe and Michelle? Are you serious? Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to... to... I, I, I don't want to be sick in a hospital. I want to be around family. All right, I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Come on, let's go celebrate. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it right back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Oh, I said get on the ground! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. You need to do exactly as I say, okay? Because if my brothers find out you're here, do you understand? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. Well, I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't pry. Thank you. Uh, 
Everything okay up there? It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. Watching. That's cool. Huh. Wonder what happened here. At least Tyler's keeping watch. Dale! I found it! What the? Where's the code? Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now what would you do if you could keep all this cash? It's not for us. It's for paying off Pa's debts and everything. Well, I didn't say we weren't. I was just asking if. Well, even if. I don't think we should. Whatever. Goody two shoes. Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up, just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way.
came back early. Yeah, no shit. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <laughs> nice work, guys. How about we stop for burgers on the way home, huh? Have a little celebration. We're gonna be celebrating every day for a week. This is C1. I need all available cars in the area west to Rock. Searching for a blue pickup truck. Copy on your request. Is everything okay? No, it's not fucking okay. I need units now. Someone robbed my house. <sighs> they didn't see us turn in. How'd they even find us? We got away clean. He must have seen the truck. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> oh. 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 We understand. Yeah, whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You! Keep that dog quiet! Shh! It's all right, Tux. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks... Vince, we need to do something. What can we do? They have guns. So we take their guns away! and get our faces blown off. Jesus, Jim, this isn't die hard. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then, we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just- I said drop it. <sighs> Let's all just- Take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. No. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. Paul was right. No more guns. They held on to it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. I think I don't get that. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys, you haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? 
Or how about this? Come on, man. Is that necessary? Are you necessary? Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut it the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me! Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet! Joyce, please. What? You're riling him up. You think I'm scared of him? He's just a high school dropout who thinks he's some tough guy. Just be reasonable. Them acting crazy doesn't mean we have to. What you don't get is, the only way to stop a bully is to bully him back. God damn it, will you all just shut up? Dale, no! <laughs> Zuzi! It's all right, boy. You're okay. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. Do your own dirty work. Hey, wake up. Uh, why is there so much luggage in your SUV? Huh? <sighs> Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. My family, my father, my wife, my little girl. Go check the rooms. Uh. You know something? I don't like you. First sign of trouble and you sell out your own family? You're scared shitless right now. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. But this tough guy act of yours, that I can see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> it's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. <gasps> Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul. How's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Well, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. 
Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Hmm. Is this... One of Joyce's? Oh, she was just looking for that. I thought she was sick in bed. Wait, uh, uh, is that blood? Look, are you sure everything's okay here? If I'd seen anything, I'd tell you, I swear. Huh. As soon as I walk out that door, I'm gonna radio for backup. Now laugh like I told you a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good one, right? Take care now. <laughs> what did he say, huh? Does he know? He just told me a dirty joke. What joke? It was about... Uh, about the manager. I swear to God, he has no idea. Vince. Daddy, what's happening? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Dale, Jay. We're leaving early. And we're taking her. What? Wait, no. Hang on now. If we get away without being followed, I'll drop her at a payphone. But if you call the cops. afraid to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that. <laughs> 